Hey, I'm Morgan Gales. We're out here in Los Angeles with Kawasaki testing the 2018 Z900 RS. Styling, it's, it's, it's such a win for me. They've got the classic boat tail, the root beer and orange. It's inspiring, it's such a rad bike. This is the latest introduction to the Z family. And now, of course, this is the Z900 RS with the classic retro styling based upon the original Z1 that came out back in 1973. So on this bike, the headlamp, obviously an LED. I think that's one of those tip-offs where you know this is not an old bike. I mean, you're not going to see too many LED headlights on older bikes. Not many people retrofit them. Um, with respect to the cluster, two clocks obviously look very much like an older Kawasaki's. The general consensus, I feel like, with most people I speak to is that a, a needle is just the easiest thing to read. So it was really nice to see analog clocks on there. Kawasaki really knows how to build engines. You know, not only are they smooth, not only do they have tons of power, but man, just that visceral character, that, that wailing rush of acceleration, and just when you're riding that thing, like, it makes you feel alive. It's one heck of a power plant. With the engine itself, like, they, they've tried to move the power a little bit further down in the rev range so that it's a bit nicer for around town cruising. They've paid particular attention to the exhaust. Now, Kawasaki got basically acoustic tuners in to, to get the sound just right. The Z1 900 of, uh, of 73 had a real amazing rust to it. That was one of its characteristics, like it's got the most unbelievable induction roar. You still have a fully adjustable AYB fork. In the rear, you do have a single shock with preload adjustment and rebound damping adjustment. Very responsive, very intuitive. Whether you're talking about tight stuff in the canyons or in the streets, this thing handles you know, superbly. The presentation last night was really cool. Um, hearing Brian Farnsworth talk to us was, was hilarious. You know, the guy had a lot of really cool stories. It was very interesting hearing how kind of grassroots early Kawasaki was in the United States. And it was interesting to know too, sort of on a personal level, how hard everybody at Kawasaki was trying in order to, you know, sort of to, to make a successful bike both then and now. If you're looking for a fun, tasteful classic bike, something that looks cool, runs and drives awesome, something that's really gonna put uh, a smile on your face. You're gonna be happy with the Z900 RS. It's a really beautiful bike and it runs and drives as good as it looks.